what up squad welcome back to my channel so this is my first video of 2019 wow um 2019 that's crazy so i don't even know what to say about this last year last year was last year was different uh, I did a lot of things I wanted to do. Um, I did some things I never thought I would do. And overall, I actually like hit a lot of goals that I wanted to do. And this video today is gonna be about goals, okay? We're not talking about resolutions. We're talking about goals. We're talking about making things happen. So um, over the last month, so from December 6th to now-ish, I got off social media. Oh, let me, I'm shaking the table. Shaking the table. All right, I got off social media. Um, I was off for about, <clears throat> it'll be a month on Sunday. Let me see, I got a wonky eyelash. Do I got a wonky eyelash? I do, but either way. Um, I was off for almost a month and I took that time to just literally think about me and like do like lots of thinking about just what I want to do for this year my goals for this year how I'm going to hit those goals for this year because you can't just say you're going to do something and then automatically do it like you have to do some steps take some steps to like reach those goals so you know I took that month to really focus in and hone in on what I want to do I'm going to do a separate video on that kind of social experiment of being off Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, literally everything. And how that kind of made me think more about my social circle and the people I surround myself with and the people who actually um, aren't just social media friends because <clears throat> there are friends and then there are social media friends. So that's like a whole different video. But today's video, I'm gonna show you my mood board. Now, I've been watching a lot of videos on people who um, swear by mood boards. They make them every year and they put all their goals on them and a lot of times they hit that. So, mood boards come from, you know, the, the art of, I guess, um, it's called, the Secret. There's this movie called, or this book, and turned into a movie. So the book is called The Secret. Um, and there's tons of videos on YouTube about it, but basically it is manifesting what you want. So I'm going to show you what I'm trying to manifest for the year of 2019. So this is my 2019 mood board. Um, <clears throat> I know it looks kind of that's that's jacked up but don't even worry about this don't worry about this worry about this so the first thing on my mood board is i want to move to new york city that's like my ultimate goal and the reason why is i want to go to more auditions so this past year 2018 uh or yeah the past year 2018 i went to a few auditions i went to a quite a bit of auditions but I didn't diversify my auditions. I literally went to one show's audition over and over again. And while that was very interesting and taught me a lot about the auditioning process for that particular show, you really, like, for what I want to do, you kind of have to branch out. I also want to take more singing lessons. Um, I took a couple, I think I took two or three this year or last year and that really helped with my singing abilities, my uh, sustainability, and that was awesome. Uh, I feel like shifting. Um, I wanna save more money. I used to be so good at saving and something happened and now I just really suck at it. But I wanna save more. Um, uh, I'm gonna do a lot of shifting. <laughs> Then um, down here is a Google AdSense check. So I want to put more effort into my YouTube videos and like making it more consistent and making good content for you guys to watch and making sure you guys come back. Um, I want to take more dancing lessons. 
uh i took one over the summer and while it did help with the fundamentals i don't think i got as much as i wanted to from it but you know i did i did it i tried um i want to do more yoga because i am so not flexible like i'm the most unflexible person in the world so i want to do more yoga uh where are we now oh and this is a hundred k youtube um plaque I want to reach 100k this year i'm gonna work my hardest to try to do that but that's basically what i want to do i want to hit 100k <clears throat> and then here this is hawaii i want to visit hawaii so badly when i visited my sister in guam um i want to say it was like almost nine seven years ago uh this summer I got a layover in Hawaii for like 10 minutes and it was so awesome and so beautiful and I didn't want to leave the island but I had to because I had to go to Guam but I want to go and actually visit. Down here is, you see this, zero, 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 zero. At this present time, I think I'm in a little over mm, like $20,000 in debt and half of it's student loans, half of it's a personal loan that went towards my schooling. And I wanna pay that all that off this year. Like, I'm gonna work my hardest. <sighs> this one, oops, I just hit myself in the face. This one is to drink more water. Like, I'm really bad at drinking water. I used to be so good at drinking water and I don't know what happened, but I'm not really good at it anymore. So I'm working on that this year. Um, I want to read more. So far in 2018, I think I've read, I want to say, a little over 10 books in a couple months. And uh, I started reading more in August. And um, so far, I love it. I've been learning a lot. And if you want a video on the things I've been reading, um, some of it's like self-help, some of it's fantasy and some of it's just like life lessons that they don't really teach you in high school so you know that's that i also want to get my bachelor's so this one's a bachelor's now i just recently applied for school again i'm going back for a bachelor's in healthcare management and um i think that'll really boost me in life i already have a background in healthcare so i just kind of want to say that you know i am a college graduate um, I want to write more. I've been writing like on and off, but I really want to write more. So I have this big one here about writing. Um, and then here comes the travel. So the first place I want to travel to is the UK. I've never been there. I think it's really cool. Um, I love the accents. I want to see what people are doing over there. You know, um, a lot of people go, oh, I want to go to America. I want to go to New York. I've been in New York City a billion times. I want to try something new. I want to go to Europe. I want to eat fucking fish and chips. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the next place I want to go to is New Zealand, specifically to meet the Maori people and have them do the haka for me. And if you don't know what that is, Google it. It's beautiful it's beautiful um next place i want to go to is thailand i love the architecture of Viet uh, vietnam of uh, phuket and i just i just want to go there so badly i know that it is just a menagerie of queer and um different gendered type people and just the atmosphere is so accepting and the food is so good so i definitely want to go to thailand <laughs> and um the next place here this is italy i want to visit italy i love vineyards i love wine i love italian culture i love the family culture that they have they're so you know they make such a big point to like make family just the biggest thing and there's a lot of matriarchs and i love that the culture is so beautiful that the, the just just italy in general is just so beautiful and i want to try all the different pastas and meats and fruits and vegetables and i just want to be in italy um the next place is greece 
I want to visit Greece so badly. Look at how beautiful the ocean is. So gorgeous. Look at the architecture. I love these domes. I think they're so cute. And I just, Santorini, I've seen so many people go to Santorini and they just look like they're having a bang in time and I wanna go. And this, this is not a specific place because this could be Norway, this could be Iceland, but I really, re or this would be Northern Canada. I really want to see the Northern Lights. I wanna see them so badly. I think just the science of it is so cool that it's just like electrons coming from the sun bouncing off our atmosphere. And then, you know, that's just that, like that's so cool. You're seeing science happen like right there. And the last place, oh wait, I think that's it. So yeah, this is my mood board. And what I did to make this was I literally went on Google, saved some pictures and sent them to Walmart and Walmart just prints them out one hour printing and that literally 20 photos cost me five bucks. So. And then that little board was 150. So you can do all of that for like less than $10 and have it for the rest of the year. And um, it's just so cool. Like I love it. I love the idea of looking at your goals and actively trying to, you know, bring them to life. And that is the whole thing, you know, manifestation. You really have to like think about it and actively say, don't say, I'm, I want to do this. Say, I'm going to do this. And that will put out into the energy, put out into the atmosphere if you believe in, you know, that kind of stuff, uh, your goals. And once you reach your goals, oh, I shouldn't be moving stuff. But anyway, but once you reach your goals, then you'll just be like, oh shit, like I did this. I manifested this. I brought this into my atmosphere. I put it out into the universe and it came to me. Also, there are some apps that you can use. I use the um, Law of Attraction app, and that kind of helps with, you know, putting it into my mind. They give you different affirmations every day um, of how you can, you know, fill your thoughts and your body and even the way you live your daily life to get these things and achieve these goals. So this year, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna show you my, I wrote down my goals for 2018 and I'm gonna show you how many of those I achieved, which is awesome. Okay, so I have my little black book. Oh, ew, now I got makeup all over it. So <laughs> this is my little black book. I literally write any and everything in it. And I, su I would suggest starting uh, like some kind of journal to help you track things. So I've had this for a minute and I write songs, I write ideas, I make lists. That's another thing that will help you to achieve those goals. Make lists, make lists. And every day make a list. And it doesn't have to be a long list. It could be a long list, it could be a short list. But I make a list every day and I try to achieve those goals. And if I don't achieve the goals for that day, I put it on to the next day and I just keep going until I can cross it off. So for 2018, I wanted to be consistent with my YouTube videos and in the past uh, year I made 12 videos consecutively every Tuesday and Friday. So I checked that one off. Um, in 2018 I wanted to do something different with my hair. Well, I was bald for since 2017 so 2018 I was still bald and literally at the end of the year I decided to try this new do and this is the same here from eva hair wigs i'll leave the link below if you still if you're interested in the hair and also the video of me applying this will also be in the uh, description box below i wanted to do more home improvement i made my house so cozy um i have so many tapestries so many wall fixtures so many like comfy things on my bed it just makes me feel more at home i got more candles that because i'm a scent girl i love smelling good things so i have so many candles now you can see one in the back i got that for christmas and um that really helped me feel comfortable at home and made it my sanctuary so when i was frustrated at work or frustrated anywhere i could just come home and feel so good um I wanted to get involved in more musical theater. So I did two shows. I did two dance, two voice lessons 
and I did a dance lesson. So that was me trying to like get back into more musical theaters, trying to like put effort into like honing my skills when it comes to that. Um, <laughs> my other goal was to be more kind. Working on it. That whole month of me not being on social media definitely put some things into perspective, but still a work in progress. Um, see more Broadway shows. So in 2018, with the help of my boyfriend and um, a wonderful woman I met through a show I was doing, I got to see Hamilton twice. Oh, if you go, oh, shit, that's my ring light. But like, yeah, yeah, see that play bell? See that play bell? I got to see it twice. Um, <clears throat> I got to see Chicago, the musical on Broadway. That was awesome. Um, and I also saw literally December 30th, I saw Once on This Island. And let me tell you, I'm obsessed. The show is closing this Sunday, so January 6th. Oh my God. If you can get down and see that show, I would... A hundred thousand forty million percent recommend it. It's so good. And I applied for my bachelor's. So those were some goals that I wanted to have, and I did them. And I'm so proud of myself because I am a procrastinator. I procrastinate like you would not believe. And I'm working on that too. So that's what the that's where the lists come in, making the lists and trying to make sure you make yourself accountable and you do them and you stick by them because then also you feel so accomplished like you feel good when you do things that are going towards something that you like and make you feel good and 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 you feel like you don't need other people's validations because you're doing exactly what you want to do and you're happy so um that's the end of this video i hope 2019 brings you everything you want i hope you manifest your wildest dreams i hope you you know pay off your loans buy that car you want to buy buy that house you want to buy go on those trips you want to go on get that job you wanted you know anything anything is literally in your reach now if you like i said if you want a video on you know the law of attraction and how i apply it to my life and the things i do to try to make um you know my goals every and every day kind of build upon i'll definitely do that just leave a comment down below um i'm doing a separate video on my social media purge and you know what happened and why i did it and um the effect it had on me and my social circle that'll be next and um for 2019 i'm just trying to do more you know more videos, more content, more DIYs. You see, I have this blue dot on my dresser. That's coming soon. Um, I just want to make sure that this year is so prosperous and that I am just constantly working at something. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please do not forget to comment, rate, subscribe. I make videos every Tuesday and every Friday. And, uh, yeah, happy 2019.